Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome. Today's pick a card reading is your person. What have they realized about you? In front of me, I have three different options, each with a different image. Choose the one that really calls out to you. This is group one, group two, and group three. Okay, let's get started. Hey, group number one. Okay, your person. What have they realized about you? Okay, so instantly what I'm seeing with this person is that you and them have this undeniable chemistry, okay? And this person never had any intention of falling for you. I see they were definitely drawn to your physical beauty or handsomeness, and this was going to be just a casual connection for them. Even if for you it was something more. But I see, though, that this person, they realize, like, they've caught feelings for you, okay? So this ended up becoming a lot more than what they intended. They're not sure what to do with that, okay? They didn't expect it, and it's throwing them off is what I'm seeing. But yeah, your guys' chemistry, your magnetism, like, you guys are so magnetically drawn to each other, and the chemistry is just on point. It's like fireworks is what I'm seeing. You guys, you've got them dreaming about you, like, imagining what you two could be. Even if they, like, ghost you here and there, like, don't respond or act kind of distant, you're always on their mind. It's like their way of trying to like maintain balance, maintain some sense of control because they feel like, oh my gosh, like I'm not used to feeling this way. So now they deem you as somebody who holds the key to their heart. And I do see them thinking about like wanting a real go with you. They are checking out your social media too if you have it. Just saying. I'm spilling the tea on them because this person would not admit anything like this. But yeah, you know, it's in the cards. Okay, so let's take a look at the message cards to get a glimpse even further into what has this person realized about you. They say, let me have you. Okay, they want you all to themselves. They want to spend like every, I don't want to say like every moment with you, but like, yeah, like seeing you and being by you and talking to you is the highlight of their day. Ironically, they say, I'm afraid to talk to you. Not not totally getting that. Like, what that really is representing here is, like, this person feeling vulnerable, okay, is something that's new to this person, but they're actually allowing themselves to feel that way with you. So sometimes, you know, they might get a little nervous, which is out of character for them. Might get a little tongue-tied. This is so cute. I don't, not a lot rattles this person. So when I see this coming through for them, I'm like, ah, that's funny. <laughs> they say I would do anything for you, okay? They mean that. Like, they care about you. Like, whether you two end up together or not, which they're hoping that you do. But yeah, this is so, like, low key. It's funny. Like, that's how their energy is. And that's how I, like, want to say it. But yeah, they would do anything for you. They want to be there for you. They want to protect you. This is really sweet, group one. Then you guys got them wondering, will you choose me? Okay, wow. I don't, this is so different for this person. I don't feel like they normally would even wonder about a person like that. But you guys got them wondering, okay? You guys hold the key to their heart. They don't like giving somebody that much power. But yeah, this is me spilling the tea on them because they would be so low-key about it. Okay, we have I'm not ready to commit card, but that's in the past position here because that's how this person used to be, okay? And even if it's currently still kind of their energy, it's not that they don't want to commit. It's that this is new for them. They're kind of, you know, testing the waters, feeling this whole thing out, and kind of like they just want things to happen naturally is what I'm seeing. You make me feel like I can do anything. Okay. That's huge for this person, okay? So, like, you make them feel like they can do anything Anything is possible. You got like Superman, Superwoman vibes going on here. 
you're the one that I dream about all day. Hey, hey. Okay. Yeah, I was getting that with the seven of cups. Like you got this person dreaming about you, dreaming about the next time they see you, what you guys going to do, you know, they're starting to like think about like how your scent, your voice, you know, like everything, your style, the way you smile, you know, yeah, all that crush like stuff. This person, they're dreaming about it, dreaming about what would a future with you be like. They say I'm going to make a move towards you. Okay, so for some of you, I feel like this person has. And for others of you, they're going to, okay? Sometime after you hear this, doesn't matter when you hear it because it's timeless. But yeah, you got that bold energy coming through. They say I can't read you, so I have no idea where I stand, okay? And that's what keeps this person humble, <laughs> is that there is that bit of doubt, you know, that this is what you want as well. So you've got them wondering, you've got them trying, you know. When you're around, time stops. Yeah, and they love it. This is why seeing you or being around you or thinking about you or talking to you is the highlight of their day. And I'm starting to fall for you. Oh, that's so sweet. I love it. Okay, group number one, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me your questions and choose a payment option on Linktree. All that information is in the description or you can find it in the community tab. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye, guys. Hey, group number two. Okay person what have they realized about you okay so instantly what I'm seeing when tapping into these cards is that it appears like this person on your mind has come out of something that was tough for them okay this could be like past relationship or a divorce okay something where this person feels like they've been through the ringer and it was pretty like life changing okay so they've had some healing and dealing and now they've met you okay and this person's like whoa you know they weren't expecting to meet somebody like you and I just feel like there was this instant click and magnetism and chemistry even if this is very new okay it's like that spark that you could just feel when looking at somebody or talking to them or being around them. That's what you guys have is what I'm seeing. Instantly, this person feels like like king or queen of the world, like on top of the world. Like they can do or be anything. They can accomplish anything. Like it's, it feels like the sky is the limit, okay? That's like the energy and vibe you guys exude that you inspire into people so not just this person on your mind but really anybody you guys interact with I feel like you just have this way of being that like elevates people to their maximum potential to their limitless nature so I do feel like this person has tapped into that you know and it's amazing but then you know I see something here where if this person isn't like completely over the past her they'll project that onto this current situation so it may take this person a little bit more time than what you want in order for you to to move forward is what I'm seeing. But it's literally something they have to go through and their own realizations that have to happen in order for you to to be able to move forward. And they know this. OK, they do realize this is what I'm seeing. It just has to really dawn on them, you know, and they have to be willing to make some shine the light unlike any patterns that don't serve them anymore, which this person is pretty self-aware. Do see them doing that. It's just like, you know, where are they at though with it when they meet you will be the question. Okay, so let's take a look at the message cards to get a glimpse even further to what did they realized. They say, I just wish things were different. Okay, so this person does have a bit of chip on their shoulder and a bit of jadedness that they have to like chisel away is what I'm seeing in order to give you like this fair shot at this connection that they do feel like could be amazing. They say, I feel the same way. Okay, because 
you guys are wondering, and I get it, there's like this bit of back and forth vibes with this person. One minute they appear interested, the next they kind of back off. Okay, so like their actions are adding up. So you are wondering. And they on some level do know that and they are saying like, I do feel the same way. I just have a weird way of showing it. (laughs) They don't say that, but yet they kind of do on one level. Then we have yeah, nah, so that's just it. This person meets you and it seems amazing and they think like, kind of like, you know, is this too good to be true type feeling. So that, you know, unless they're, like I was saying, like he really healed from this past hurt, somewhere like they know, like they're going to sabotage this connection before it can really take off. Then we have love is the answer. So again, it's like they know, like, you know, this is what I want love is where I need to come from not a place of like that jadedness you know so this person's currently kind of going through this internal battle right now bit of head versus heart that's where you're getting that back and forth vibe do you think about me too okay so you do have them wondering as well And then when they're feeling good and back to their magician-like self of anything being possible and tapped into that limitless nature, they feel bold and courageous and they're like, definitely, like, let's do this. They are all about this idea with you. Okay, we have no communication, so you might, you guys might currently not be in communication with each other. That's not due to anything happening between you. That's not what I'm getting. I mean, for some of you, it could be. It's a general reading. But for the majority of you, I'm getting that's just how it is. Like, you guys aren't at that consistent talking level yet. Regardless, they say, I miss everything about you. Okay. So even if you two aren't communicating, they don't like that. All right. And they do miss seeing you. I feel like you guys used to see this person somewhere where you both would be at. We have heart to heart. So somewhere they know, like, if they want to get this going with you, they need to start talking to you. They need to be more, they need to come from the heart. I've never felt this way about anyone. Okay. And that's interesting because I do feel like this is a fairly brand new connection for a lot of you listening. And it feels intense. And they're like, this is strange. Like, I just met this person. And it does have, like, that soul recognition type of feeling okay so it's very intense especially for this being like a shorter connection so you're both kind of like whoa like what's that about like it's a bit of whirlwind of you know like emotion and kind of a surreal experience is what I'm seeing then they say is this what you want like they want to know they don't know they're kind of in the dark about that so you're a bit mysterious to them which is intriguing to them. They say, I keep seeing you in my dreams. Okay, that's interesting. I do feel like you two are connected on the dream level. So they're they're kind of like, you know, what's up with this connection? Like, it's different from any other that I've experienced. Yeah, because you guys have like that 5D type of connection where you feel connected whether you're talking or seeing each other. You may have dreamt of each other before, you know, actually meeting each other. But either way, you're connected. Then they say, I want to take a leap of faith with you. Okay, so that's what they're claiming, you know, and that's where this is currently headed. Okay, this is what the cards are currently showing. It could change, but it is what they're currently showing. So overall, what they realized about you and this connection is they know that they should not bring old habits into the present And not everyone is the same, okay? So it's like they got to give you a clean slate to really give this a real go, you know. Come from the heart. Okay, group number two, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me your questions and choose a payment option on Linktree. All that information is in the description or you can find it in the community tab. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye guys. Hey, group number three. 
Okay, your person, what have they realized about you? Okay, so instantly what I'm seeing as far as you and this person goes is it has this feeling of like you two were romantically involved with each other to some capacity, okay? That could literally be like you were in a relationship or a situationship or, you know, dating, talking, doesn't matter what it was. It's like you two felt that connection. Then I feel like you guys disconnected from this connection, you meaning you and them. So it's like you both went through this breakup, whether you were in a relationship or not, like you both felt the loss of this connection. Okay, So I'm seeing that it was hard for both of you, whether either one of you had admitted it or not, it's showing like it was tough for both of you. So currently, you know, you've got this person like, wow, like my life was amazing. I felt on top of the world, you know, just everything felt right. And it got flipped upside down now that we're not together. So if some of you are like, well, you know, this person didn't know what they had till it's gone. Yeah, you know, it's showing that others of you, they did know, but it still was hard, you know, when it ended. Either way, this person fully realizes now like what a gem you are and what you two had, and they hope that it's not too late, is what's coming through. They're just dreaming and wondering about you, wondering how can they get back like that joyful, enthusiastic self that they once had, and the life that they had that felt like such an adventure, like they looked forward to waking up in the morning, to seeing you, to seeing what the day, you know, like what lies ahead, and I see that they still have hope for this connection. They want to reunite with you. They feel like it would be a passionate reunion. And all would be right in their world again. Okay, so let's take a glimpse even further into what do they realize about you. Okay, so let's take a look even further with the message cards and what have they realized about you. They say I'm terrified. Yeah, I do get the impression like... They've never felt such hurt in their life until losing you. The last thing they want is to approach you and, you know, be honest with you and have you not want this, you know, and feel that hurt all over again. Like they've lost their chance for good is what I'm getting. So part of their like reservations for not wanting to just come forward is because they're terrified of getting hurt, feeling like that's it for good. Then we have light. There is that bit of light and that hope is what drives them to want to still contact you, you know, with that chance that you would say like, yes, like this is what I want to, despite whatever happened, let's give this another go. You know, that six of swords and that light is really what is driving the whole thing. They say you make me want to do bad things. Okay, so with that, what comes to me is like you two had this chemistry and this passion and magnetism that was so on point. It was like things were good between you two. It was like the highest of highs. And when things weren't good between you two, it was like the lowest of lows. And yeah, I do feel like, you know, I just get like when some of you fought with this person, it, it could be bad. You know what I mean? This also, though, has to do with like they miss you in that passionate way. They say you are wrong. Yeah, so these two cars are very like, er, like volatile, like, yeah, like I'm saying, like, it just felt like, you know, when you two got into it, you got into it. But despite all that, they say, I want a fresh start with you. Okay. So this person does realize, like, they would have to change how they approached you, how they communicated with you, how both went about doing things that didn't work, okay, but just caused more hurt is what I'm seeing. Because they say, you are my everything, and they don't want to lose you again. They say, no one makes me feel the way you do. So they feel like you're a unique gem that they don't want to let go of. I have no idea how you feel. Okay, so they do feel like, like I said, they're in the dark about this. And a part of them's terrified, but another part of them's hopeful that you'll want this too. I don't understand what went wrong between us. Okay, so they still go over that in their head. Like, what went wrong? What could I have done differently? How could I, you know, prevent this in the future? So they really are trying to be proactive in their mind and learn from this. I can't stand not communicating with you. Yeah. 
that's part of what makes their world feel foreign to them. They feel like like all was right as long as they had you to talk to, to tell them about like what's going on during their day and stuff. They miss that. They say, now you're somebody that I used to know. Like that song's coming to me strong all of a sudden. Like you didn't have to cut me off. You treat me like a stranger and it feels so rough. Yeah, they don't, they don't like that at all. They say, I want you. They're very clear about that. My, if that's true, I'll let this be. That's like them saying like, you know, if you two have this like honest communication and you tell them once and for all, like this is not what you want, it's over, then they will take that and leave this alone for good. But they hope that's not the case. They say there's something about you I can't explain. And that's what keeps them holding on, this uniqueness. And, you know, them, they're like, nobody else makes me feel this way. They say I'm willing to compromise with you. Okay, so they feel like you both played a part in this and they're willing to admit their part and learn from that and do whatever it takes to make this work. So they really have realized, like, you're the one they want and they want to do better. They want to, you know, not repeat the past and... They want to make things right with you. Okay, group number three, this is what I see for you guys. If this resonates, let me know in the comments. And if it does, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, feel free to anytime. You can email me your questions or choose a payment option on Linktree. All that information is in the description box. Or you can find it in the community tab. Thank you all so much for being here. Bye, guys.